Let's talk about building your model even further, especially about the concept of channels. A lot of times it's easy to blow this whole concept up of channel this and channel that. It really is a big thing. We were massively impacted during COVID, not as much by COVID as by our supply chain was disrupted and people, a truck driver got sick from COVID. Boom, all of a sudden the trucker's not there and then another trucker and another trucker and all of a sudden the entire supply chain disintegrated across the United States because our channel had been just in time inventory, let alone the devastation of people sick, the devastation of people dying from it. Even more so, it was exasperated by the aspect that all of a sudden we couldn't get things and people panicked. The toilet paper scare of 2020 will live on forever and ever in the whole world as people sat down and they stood in lines trying to get toilet paper. The manufacturers had tons of it, literally warehouses full, they couldn't get it to the store. So you go into any store, you would see 24 feet of empty shelf space of different products that they didn't have because the supply chain, that channel of getting product from the manufacturer to the customer was broken. Now people are abandoning just-in-time inventory. Toyota, the one that actually invented it back in the 70s, now they have a four month supply in their own warehouse of parts spending a lot of money inventory because the channels are broken and they don't trust them anymore. So that being said, you need to have an awareness and evaluation purchase appropriately so you don't run out of certain supplies that are critical to your success as a deliverer of services or product to a customer, delivery, and then after sales. Follow the pathway, all five points here as to what you're gonna do. Then think about the channels that you deal with, how you sell and how you present your services and your products to customer. You're gonna have a sales force, rely totally on web sales. You're gonna have your own stores in the process like Sherwin-Williams. They only sell their product through Sherwin-Williams stores. You're gonna have partner stores that work with you. So you can sell your paint or whatever it may be into multiple stores. We're gonna go through a wholesaler who distributes it. Think about that aspect, all these things, they're more than details in the class, they're a reality in the business world, and you have to pay attention as to how you're gonna structure your business. Direct channels, indirect channels, sales force, indirect in the process of letting somebody else distribute. The, the different phases that you go through in channel is an awareness, you evaluate it as you go through, the customers are looking at it, what are you doing to that all consuming value proposition, and then the purchasers, how do we allow customers to purchase our product? And then how are we going to deliver our product to them? And then are we going to ignore them after sales? Are we going to sit there and coddle them and make sure they come back again and again and again in the process? So getting to the channels, highly focused marketing, hammering away on the same demographics, making certain those demographics are exactly what's out there. You may have a product you thought you'd market to the 50 plus crowd and all of a sudden it's being picked up by the 20 plus crowd and you didn't even realize it. So all of a sudden focus on them. So have a highly focused distribution, hammer away at the pathway of rapid focus delivery, product, show it your customer, packaging, build the excitement of, wow, I got something great, okay? And then how you deliver it to your customer and then the pride of ownership because I made the choice to buy your product and services. It's great when you can instill that in your customer and they're proud to have sat there and gone to your place, your outlet for service. They're proud when they bought your product and your name is on it. And they're happy because of the fact that you created something that they are proud to own in their home. Awesome, incredible. Think about that aspect, marketing channels, distribution channels, how you're gonna get it to the customer. And then how about after the process as well? Take care.